Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, excuse me. You should, you should throw that gun out. What? Why should I? Well, I don't know. It's just, it's good to be like nice to the environment and the place you live and stuff. It's just the right thing to do. You should, you should throw it out instead. God, why do you actually care? Here, just, g just give it to me. I'll throw it out. Are you for real? Yeah, just, just no, seriously. Sorry, it's just, it's kind of like that scene in The Breakfast Club, like at the end where, um, except, except with gum. Ugh, please don't tell me The Breakfast Club is actually your favourite movie. What? It's a really good film and like, John Hughes is a brilliant director. No, it's not. Like, the whole thing was totally improvised. Like, was there even a script? Or did they just like, put five adults in a room and have them act like kids? Fine. So what's your favourite movie? Love and Death. I've never seen it. No kidding! <laughs> Love and Death is... Iconic. Okay, well, how about you come to my house tomorrow and we'll watch both. Is this like just something you do? Sit down next to people and invite them to your house? Well, you haven't seen The Breakfast Club. It's a totally fair idea. As much as that sounds crazy irresponsible, and I would love to do it on a normal day. I can't. Why not? Well, unless you feel like going to Iceland. Wait, wait, wait. Iceland? Yeah. I'm moving there tonight. My dad got a promotion or something. Well, shouldn't so, we be, like, uh, packing? Probably. <laughs> My mom told me to go outside and get some fresh air or meet new people or whatever. Like, as if it's gonna matter. Because I'm going. Well, it's not a horrible idea. What? So you don't think it's a complete waste of time? I mean, what really cool things have you done while living here? Like, what's the coolest thing you've done? Where are you going with this? I, I just met you. Okay. Well, if you tell me lots of cool stuff about you, then your legacy or whatever can live on. Well, I guess I have nothing better to do. Sure. So, how do you want to do this? Well, what do you mean? Well, I'm not just going to tell you my life story. How do you want to do this? So there's a lot of games that involve telling information about yourselves. What? Like two choice and a lie, truth or dare, uh, a question game, things like that. We're gonna play games for real. Well, you can ask me stuff too. It'll be fun. I promise. Why do you sit next to me? What? There were lots of empty benches around. Why did you sit next to me? You seemed um interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Are you seriously cheating on the first question? What? Come on, I want a real answer. You look like you could use some company. Okay, my turn. What's the most heroic thing you've done while living here? Oh. One time I listened to someone when they said I should pick up my gun. You actually handed it to me? You said I was talking about you. For real, what heroic things have you done while living here? I don't know. There was this one time when I was volunteering at a summer camp. Hold on, you volunteered at a summer camp? Volunteered. Past tense, trust me. Being surrounded by all those little kids who were overexcited about absolutely anything was complete hell. So, no. Past tense, but yeah. One time there was a kid, he ran away from the group. Nobody you can find out where he was, but I went looking for him. I found him in the forest up a tree and I ended up having to get him. But like, how did you do it? I waited there, called up to him, called the police, called his parents. You know, it's not here. No, no, I'm not here. Well, it's still really cool of you to do that. I just don't understand why we're playing Truth the Dare if we're only going to be doing the truth bit. Like, we might as well just play the question game. Okay, fine. How about Never Have I Ever? Never have you ever what? Do you seriously not know how to play Never Have I Ever? What? Okay, just put up a hand. Why? Come on, just do it, it'll be fun. So I'll say Never Have I Ever, and say something that I've never done, but if you have done it, you put down a finger. We go back and forth doing that, and then the one with no fingers up first loses. Got it? Okay, why not? Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. Slept with stuffed animals past age 10? 
had to take prescribed medication. Called the police for someone other than myself. Been to a concert? Never have I ever been outside of North America. Kissed someone? Gotten in a fist fight. Taken the city bus alone. Been to a house party? Hold on, this is the deciding question for the game. I have to think this one through. Well, it's gonna be hard to say something I have done. I'm ridiculously boring. Well, you're interesting enough to start a conversation with someone you just met. Okay, um... Oh, oh, okay, okay. Never have I ever started a conversation with a stranger. Okay, so I guess that the concert went was a lot. No, it was actually that I have drunk a cup of coffee. I don't like it, but I have drunk it. So wait, so does that mean that you've actually been to a One Direction concert because you wanted to be there? You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, I don't know, I didn't expect you to be so... So... I don't know, I guess I was just quick to judge. Well, not every stranger you meet is gonna be so two-dimensional, right? Okay, um... Number one, I don't know how to swim past a basic level. Number two, I've been hit by a car, but I came out uninjured. Number three, I've been suspended from school. Okay, well, there's no way you've been suspended from school, so I'm going with that. Uh, no, actually, though I was the car one, I uh, did get hit, but I came out uh, with a broken wrist, so that was the lie. I'm sorry, but how did you manage to get suspended? Well, um, it's kind of really dumb, but um, before I started taking my medication and stuff, I was really aggressive, and I uh, apparently threatened to kill someone, and they suspended me. I don't even remember what happened. I'm so sorry, I had no idea. Um, it's fine. I usually just don't talk about it, because like, I kind of like to pretend it didn't happen, but it's just kind of dumb, because it did, so... We're talking about it now. I've been fired from every job I've ever had. And three, I played the bass. I'm gonna go with your not an only child. Yeah, I actually have an older brother. Oh, are you guys close? Well, no, I actually haven't seen him before. So good. I'm so sorry, I wouldn't have asked if I knew. No, no, no. It's okay. Uh, my parents, after he came out as bi a few years ago, they kicked him out of the house, so. It's alright though, I mean, he moved in with my aunt, he's doing a lot better now. He's got a job and everything, so. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I was just remembering when I was younger and I found his cigarettes in his room and I used to play with them and try and smoke with them, but I didn't even know how to use a lighter until he showed me how to use one. I didn't know that you smoked. I don't, I don't. Once I actually tried a cigarette that was lit, I discovered it was nasty and I've never smoked since. You know, I actually, I have no idea how to use a lighter, either. Oh, really? I, I just have my brothers here. here. Oh, I'll, I'll show you. Um, oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so, my mom says I have to leave right now. I'm gonna make this light on time. Oh. No, I'm sorry. It's fine. Well, it was like... I'm sorry, I have to go. It was like nice stuff. Okay, whatever. I, I guess yeah, was, okay. okay. Bye. Um, bye. Absolutely, you can overcome your addiction. That's what we've been doing for over 25 years, is helping individuals realize there is something better in their life for them. We offer a pretty unique setting here, a place that is serene and calm, and gets you in the right frame of mind so that you can move forward with your life.